Hello, my name is Michael Lehner, a resident at the University of Texas McGovern Medical School in Houston. While I'm sad I don't get to meet everyone in person, I'm excited to be presenting on this topic to you today. My topic is a clinical vignette, semiplumab used to treat oligometastatic cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma in a patient with two solid organ transplants. To start with some background, immune checkpoint inhibitors have vastly changed the landscape in cutaneous squamous cell carcinomas of the head and neck. Unfortunately, solid organ transplant recipients are typically not considered for this treatment because of the risk of developing an immune-related adverse event or allograft rejection. This is all taken in light with the fact that these transplant recipients are actually more likely to develop the disease in the first place. My objective is to report uh, this unique case of a patient who is on immunosuppression for liver and kidney transplants who is successfully treated with an immune checkpoint inhibitor. As for the vignette itself, I have a 64-year-old woman who underwent a single kidney and liver transplant for polycystic kidney disease back in 2017. She was main, maintained on an anti-rejection regimen until two years later when she developed this malignancy on her left forehead. She was treated with radiation and chemotherapy, but unfortunately had minimal response. This can be seen in figure one, which was just prior to a palliative surgical debulk that was performed when she was started on um, oral chemotherapy afterwards. Despite that surgery and the chemotherapy, she had rapid tumor regrowth. After consultation with her transplant team, the decision was made to start her on an immune checkpoint inhibitor. At two months, her response was uh, noted to be remarkable. She had reduction in her tumor size. She did suffer one adverse event of a C. diff infection, which uh, was treated with holding her immune checkpoint inhibitor as well as increasing her steroid dose. Other than that, she has successfully stayed on this regimen and has had great success with it with minimal, res uh, minimal remnant of the tumor. She also has good liver and kidney function. Now, some of the key takeaways that I have to share with this case are that simuplumab, uh, the immune checkpoint inhibitor that is used here, has a remarkable response rate of 50% in the initial clinical trials that it was used in. Unfortunately, there's not much data that practitioners can use when looking at the safety of solid organ transplant recipients receiving this therapy since they are excluded from trials like that one. Paradoxically, their tumors actually demonstrate a higher tumor mutational burden, which may make them more responsive to the therapy itself. This creates a conundrum where the potentially very effective treatment cannot be given because it is contraindicated. In circumstances like this patient's, there is not much of a choice that is left, so this treatment should be considered. If possible, their treatment regimen can be modified, and they can receive an mTOR inhibitor instead of a calcineurin inhibitor. We also recommend that teams weigh the expendability of the transplant itself, and that finally, the patient is well informed so that they may, they may make decisions that are in line with their goals of care. Thank you so much.